So today we're going to be doing a mostly building episode because I mentioned recently we're now in the tech tier and I kind of want to make a fully tech base and it's going to be over here on Valkyro because I'm not extremely happy about my current castle and I went ahead and just ripped it all down. Yeah, um, there was a lot of nice things about it, but I wasn't really feeling the side towers and I didn't really like the bottom part and I like the idea that it was kind of risen up and you had to kind of like climb this area up here and then get into it, but I don't know. I just wasn't completely feeling the whole vibe that it was giving off and uh, yeah, in doing so, in like ripping down the whole castle, um, the mammoth didn't actually fall. It's just chilling up there. I removed the ceilings below it, but it's just decided to fly instead and its ears don't even look that big I didn't even think it could fly with tiny ears like that anyway uh let's see so first of all let me explain where I've got all of this this element right here um we had 1300 ish element over on the island from when we went ahead and fought the uh, three alpha bosses where well, we fought them with gamma beta and then alpha so we had a lot of element over there and I was initially thinking of just bringing over all the other resources to craft all the structures I need because we need a lot of stuff in fact we need 528 of this type of structure right here which is kind of insane um, so I was initially thinking of doing that but instead what I did was I just leaned into a mod that we have we have ultra stacks on which is the stack mod and in that mod it basically adds a version of element that you can craft using normal element and you can bring this through an obelisk you're not able to bring normal element through an obelisk at all so this was like the only way to just save myself a huge amount of time so I go ahead, I bring that through, bring oh, through like all 1300, and then I went ahead and just crafted that into element dust. And uh, now we could just go ahead and craft this element, element shards, not dust. We could craft this element shards into normal elements. So if you ever wanted to turn this type of element into normal element, that's a pretty easy way of doing it. I've actually heard um, on stream last week that apparently this does not, it doesn't work with like absolutely everything. I think maybe some of the newer stuff. I can't confirm any of that, but uh, yeah, it, it's pretty handy to just go ahead and turn it into normal element if you need to. Anyway, so that explains where I got all the element. We also obviously have our farm over there, uh, Eggfall, which produces not that much element. It produces a lot of metal for me, which is pretty much where I get all of my metal. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the main thing I get out of that farm. We do get some element, just not enough to really keep up with what I'm needing to do right now. Uh, so we need to obviously work on gotchas at some point, but let me explain the base. So everything you see so far right here is actually scaffolding. Nothing here will be staying. Instead, we're going to be using all of this stuff to be able to place all of the tech stuff. So yeah, this is a 16 by 16 building and uh, I went ahead and built up, I think, five walls from here and started placing those. And then these ones over here are down one wall and then it starts to slope in. You can kind of already probably tell what I'm going to be doing here. Um, and it's it's going to look really cool. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just going to look really awesome. So, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. That doesn't work when I'm flying. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And, uh, yeah, let's try and get to it. So, I'll try and obviously do just a little bit of building on cam. I generally don't really do too much of this because it... I don't know. It's it's not that entertaining in my opinion, but um, yeah, so we're going to try and do like little bits. I'll explain kind of like what I'm doing and then we'll kind of skip ahead once I've done like the next few steps and stuff. Is that touching the ground completely? That is almost touching the ground. That's good. That's what we want. So um, yeah, basically let's actually start up here instead because it might be a little bit easier to explain and show off. So what we're doing is we're placing Ooh, not like that. We're moving around way too fast right here on the tech seat. I don't know why. Let's see. We're basically placing these sloped roofs right here. And uh, we're going to obviously re be removing all this thatch and using this as kind of like a, a roof piece. So we're going to extend this right out to the side here. And then obviously we're going to have another one coming from that side. And they're going to kind of like intersect on the corner. And it's not... It's not actually that ugly. You may think that it might look a bit weird, but it actually kind of looks okay, actually. I, I'm, I'm at least happy enough to do it. It was kind of annoying that I couldn't get like a flushed corner, but it's just not an option in Ark right now. I mean, it's not like a structure that we can actually make. So now we can go ahead and actually remove all of this stuff right here. Why is the tech suit flying around super fast right now? I feel like it's way too fast. I don't know why. Anyway, let me go ahead and just remove all of this stuff and uh, let's move on with like the next little step that I can show you. All right, so here is the intersection. So first of all, we got to place one and then we got to hit that button to get the other one in. So that's what it's going to kind of look like. Now, 
it might look a bit odd when there's like just one of them here but when there's a whole line of it it actually doesn't look so bad so let me actually just get the other bottom corner done here as well Let's see we just got to build right across and then there we go sweet so obviously this is all going to be completely filled in and you can kind of see it already taking shape here so on the top we're going to have it go up to that point there and then on the bottom we're going to have it just so it intersects with the ground so from here we would go ahead and just build this right across like that and as you can see it just completely goes into the ground which is exactly what we want uh if it if there's any point that actually kind of sticks out a little bit i'll obviously build down there but i don't need to build all of this all the way down to the point where it's you know the exact same as the very top because it's completely into the ground i actually really like that i think it's gonna look absolutely fantastic once we're done so i don't actually need to build this bit out so far do i uh or do i i need to think about it all right well we're gonna go ahead and just get some more of this done and maybe we'll probably need to craft more of these yeah um i gotta figure out how many i've already crafted and then figure out how many more i would need so this might be a bit messy i probably should have just crafted all 528 of them to begin with but yeah i wasn't really thinking ahead apparently all right so i got the whole entire bottom section done here and as you can see it's looking pretty amazing let me kind of just like run out here a little bit so imagine that but except also on the top and a little bit of stuff on the inside between them it's gonna look awesome i can't wait for this whole thing to be done it's gonna take a lot of work like i said but uh yeah so i think the next step is for me to just do the whole top section and that's gonna take ages so i'll see you guys on the other side actually you know what one thing maybe i can show off right now and maybe also do right now let me see uh yeah right here this is exactly what we need can i hold all this yeah i can sweet so um from these ceilings right here we're gonna go ahead and actually place one tech wall coming down like that very nice so yeah we're pretty much just gonna do this all the way around this whole thing and it's gonna look awesome so there we go i have all the tech walls in place now from this part right here we're actually gonna be replacing all of this here with tech ceilings so i still have to make those actually but from there we're actually gonna have a gate like pretty much sitting right here and then a like inner wall like right here so instead of just walling up from here and meeting the roof we're actually going to go in up out and then you know it's going to meet the roof from there so it's going to look really cool trust me all right we got a lot of work to do up here so yeah let me get to that all right so i think i actually over calculated how many i would need because um yeah we actually didn't even need to craft that many i'm so glad i didn't craft them all at once because i would be stuck with just a ton of sloped tech roofs you see what i did was i counted how many i would need on one side on the top uh, which was 66 and then i multiplied that by eight because you know there's four sides on the top four sides on the bottom but what i didn't realize i don't know why i didn't realize it but um we actually don't even use the same amount on the bottom than we use at the top so yeah we didn't actually even need 528 um and i'm not really willing to calculate how many we needed but it was wrong and, and i'm glad that i didn't craft them all anyway check it out i've got the whole slopedy bit done and i think it looks great let me see let me just move back just a little bit and oh yeah look at that it's gonna look so much cooler once it's all done though like that's that's already looking pretty nice but it can look better and it will look better oh my god yeah that's that's great i love it i love it so much all righty so we've got a lot more work to do here um i think the next step is i need to get another wall basically the exact same like that except it needs to be up there and to get it up there i need to remove all these ceilings place a large wall and then place the wall on top so i can go ahead and do that it's just gonna take a long ass time unless i make a crap ton of large walls which i don't really think i want to do although you know what we have a lot of structures in here maybe i have enough of them just around we probably do I i'm pretty sure we had a lot of large walls yeah here we go okay they're just stone so it's gonna be a little bit heavy but let's grab let's grab 16 of them that should cover one full side all right um and then we need another 64 uh tech walls let's see tech i guess i should have just typed in wall that would probably have been easier but we got it right here so i need another 64 of those 64 boom and craft nice so getting these walls up here is literally just a matter of placing those large walls and then just placing them up here and then removing the large walls so we pretty much almost got this oh ooh, ho, ho, ho. 
the piece of element ran out and then i dropped it a little bit and we kind of messed up but it didn't seem to break so that's good god damn it i hate when that stuff happens man it's so annoying it's the worst when tech structures break though because they're very expensive and you don't get the element back when they break which is super annoying anyway yeah as you can see we got that whole layer done and it's definitely oh it's definitely looking a lot better already oh my god yeah i'm so excited those look like a bunch of little teeth coming down don't they yeah now i can't unsee that great all right well next step is tech ceilings we gotta pretty much do the whole outer layer here and i can't remember if i should be snapping them onto these ceilings or snapping them onto the walls i think it might be the walls think so i'm gonna need what is that uh yeah a lot i'm gonna need a lot of them because i'm gonna need to also do a layer up here so we need to come out by one here come out by one up there and then we're gonna do some stuff in the in between between those two walls so oh my god yeah we're gonna need a lot of those what is it like uh 16 going across then 16 from the other side and then 14 and 14 what is that Okay, 60 and 14 is 30, so that means I'd need 60 and 60. I need 120 of them. Okay, great. Um, I definitely have that written down, but I also have all the inside kind of written down as well. So uh, let me try and get this done. We actually need to have a good amount of element to craft those because these cost one piece of element instead of just shards, which is a little bit more expensive. Where are the normal ceilings? Why can't I see them? Is this them? That's not them. Where are they? Where's the tech version or the S plus version of that? There it is. I'm completely blind. I don't know why I didn't see that. Wow. Okay, well, we need more elements. So we got to go ahead and craft that. Boom. 120 of those, please. Okay, so the next step is to place railings pretty much on the inside of this right here. And we're not going to do the very center here because we're going to actually have four little entrances to this base. So there's going to be gates right here and then on the other sides mirroring this part. So yeah, we got to get all these railings placed. Now we're going to just turn all of these railings into half walls using the little model selector gun. This is an S plus thing only, I believe. I mean, I don't know if you can make these into half walls. I don't think you can. You know, I, it's been a while since I've built with just vanilla stuff. So yeah, sometimes I just don't even know. All right. So the next step, we can put down the gates and then also put down some of these glass walls right here. So can we carry half? We could probably carry more than half, but I'll carry just half for the moment so we can still move around really fast. Um, so yeah, let's see. So let me go ahead, turn this back into the demo gun and boom, like that. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference. Hmm. You know what? Maybe removing them first and then placing the gate would help. There we go. So that's what we're going to be doing with the gates. And then obviously, like I said before, you know, we're going to have the ceilings right above where I am right here meeting the top of that gate meeting those walls and it's gonna look so awesome but we got to do a little bit of work before i can actually place those ceilings i guess we don't need to place these here right now it's not really gonna make a difference is it no not really all right cool so we can go ahead and get all this glass placed then so i'm kind of thinking that we might maybe turn some of this into tech walls so we don't have just a giant window all the way around but for the moment it's just gonna be glass i can always just replace them afterwards if i need to but there's no point of like not placing them for the moment and you know holding off and leaving gaps and everything so yeah for the moment we're just gonna place all of these and how many times have i said for the moment in this moment probably a lot all right so i've got all the glass in the next step is to just remove all the sides of them using the little model gun and then we're gonna add some transparency to them probably let's see let me get over here real quick um probably like 0.4 i would say i want it to be obvious that there's something there but not too dark let's see that looks okay right yeah that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and just copy that and paste that onto all of these and then we got to do all of the other sides and then on top of this we're gonna do another railing and then we're gonna have a ceiling meet that thing out there i've already got the ceilings i still need to craft those railings though yeah, this whole thing's really coming together here. I mean, check this out. This looks so good. Like, look at that. Now, you can't see that there's no ceilings on the top there. So, like, oh, I just love it. Really do. So, we're going to be putting some pillars in the corner, by the way. Because you may see that, like, little gap. And that's not an actual gap. It's just a visual gap because of the way that these glass walls actually work. Um, but, yeah. It's going to be sorted pretty easily. So, next step is the ceilings on the inside like this. Oh, and one thing um, that's actually could be potentially an issue while you're placing tech stuff. Check this out. So there's actually two different 
kind of like ways they could face so they could face long way this way or you know long way that way so uh gotta keep an eye on the tech ceilings as i'm placing them just to keep them the exact same as down here it won't really matter i mean like it's not gonna make a difference but i'll know that it's different so <laughs> we don't want that i'm not ocd by the way i just like things you know neat and if i'm gonna put a lot of effort into something might as well actually make it look good this looks so good i am loving it it really is just so amazing i mean like goddamn i i love it i really do all righty well uh next step uh some pillars so what am i gonna need there uh that's four high so four pillars so 16 pillars um and then i guess we can probably also pop these on although yeah you know what we can pop them on because they're on automatic automatically i suppose so let's see let's get all those on um so 16 pillars and then we need to fill in the center with some ceilings because obviously we're gonna have some stuff in here too uh you may also be wondering about the roof right here this is gonna be left completely open i kind of like the idea of just having a bunch of natural light coming in but also i can fly my flyers right into the base so yeah um let's see what else can i do i think we could probably go ahead and just remove all that stone and i need to get something in here to get rid of all these plants down here too so Maybe we might need to call the Sky Mammoth. I don't know if it's busy uh, doing sky things or not, but yeah, we might have to ask its permission to collect these berries. Anyway, uh, ceilings and pillars and probably some other stuff. All right, so check it out. We've got some more stuff done on the inside here. Now we got to place these ramps. Uh, how do I want to do this? Probably like, ooh, no, that's not where I wanted that. Let's see. Let me go ahead and place that like that. Okay. So then what we got to do right here, because there's like this little gap, I could put a, a wall going down like that, or I could just put some of these sloped walls right there to just kind of like cover up the gap, but also, you know, make it look good on the inside as well. Cause like, look at that. That looks great. Yeah. All right. So we got to basically fill all this in and I'm probably also going to have these ramps. Um, here, let me show you. I'll probably just turn them into these stairs. My God, there's like a lot of different variants. That is kind of annoying. All right, there we go. So you can kind of see through them just a little bit, but that's okay because we're probably going to make use of some more of the space in here. So obviously we're going to be going down and then we're going to have like our floor, our main floor, like uh, at this height where these ramps kind of come down to. But we could probably also put some stuff down here. I just don't know exactly what that's going to be just yet. But I don't know. Maybe we can figure it out as we go along. Like I've done basically like all the prep that i did was to kind of just make this building like i didn't do all the prep to like figure out what's gonna go inside so i gotta figure some of that stuff out as we go along here but um yeah we can at least get some of this stuff placed down and just get to the point where i had built it out completely that is not how those are supposed to go they're supposed to go the other way all right so i've done more work i've got the pillars on the outside finally i kept forgetting about them and then on the inside we've gotten all of the ramps in place and we obviously have this little side piece in the corner um i'm thinking kind of like for the center we might have it come out by maybe one more here um kind of trying to like come up with like a nice design i don't want it to all just like slope inwards you know so we might end up like maybe putting like a dermis or something here although i think that's a little bit too sudden as you walk in and then you have to immediately turn this direction so i don't know what i want to do about that just yet so I think it's time that I show you guys a little bit of an update and by a little bit I actually mean quite a large update because I did uh, quite a lot of stuff to this So check it out boom right there. We got a dragon dermis. We got megapithecus over there We got a brood mommy and over there for now. We have a titanosaur eventually that will be a manticore So yeah, uh, I went ahead and just put down the s plus taxidermy bases I originally had them as tech, but then I was like, you know what? It might look better if we just take that away completely and we don't have the animations turned on because that would probably be a little bit chaotic. You know, all the dust and everything, you can't turn off the sound. So I kind of like it as just this. There's quite a few nice poses from the dragon, but that, I, I think that one there is probably like the best one because it's very menacing. So uh, yeah, we'll have dragon here, manticore opposite it over there. Um, obviously, you know, the wings of the dragon and the wings of the manticore are quite large. So I figure they should be opposite each other. We've got the brood mommy over here. Very good, very lovely and then over here to Tanosaur, like i said i actually have this thing super small what do we have it as 0.8 check it out at full size like god damn it it actually peeks its head right outside the base there i can't see it from there but yeah it's kind of weird 
All right, so let's go ahead and turn that back down for the moment. It's just too big the way it is. And then over here, we have the Megapithecus. Lovely. Now, you may have spotted it. I don't know if you did. There's actually two things, and you can see them both right here. First of all, we have some uh, dedicated storage. I was trying to kind of come up with a good place to put all of this stuff. And originally, I was thinking of putting it down below. But then I was like, you know what? We've got like this little like... I don't even know what to call this. We've got like this little spot up here, right? And I, I kind of felt like it was looking a little bit odd just having nothing there. And then I was thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe we could put some like dermises or something, but then they'd probably stick through. And you know, there could be a whole lot of issues there. But then the idea came to me. Uh, let's go ahead and put the dedicated storage up here. It makes so much sense. Now, I don't actually even need to be coming up here. So even the fact that there's only like a half a... Uh, what do you call this like a foundation half a foundation like walkway here is kind of fine because i actually don't need to be coming up here at all really um did i make it or no i did make it i don't think i placed it let's see uh yeah there it is so this is an s plus item and it actually was originally with the dedicated storage but then when they brought all the, de the dedicated storage over to vanilla they didn't actually bring this so this is an intake and you can pretty much just walk up to this and deposit and if you have any of the materials that you have in dedicated storage it will just go directly to that dedicated storage so it's pretty cool i really like that so it just means that i don't need to be coming up here all the time and depositing and whatnot so i'm gonna actually have dedicated storage for hopefully every single item yeah I think there's probably a few that we might have to leave out. Like, obviously, structures. No, I'm just not doing that. I could possibly do that, but I just don't think it'd be worth it because there are so many structures in the game and we'd have to we'd have to have more dedicated storage spots up here. It just wouldn't work. But some other stuff like um, I have ammos down here and anywhere that you see like a blank spot, I do actually have a spreadsheet kind of like laying all this stuff out. So I've kind of done them in a bit of an order. So... On a single ceiling, the four items will somewhat relate to each other. So right here, we have all the crops. Right here, we have the aberration mushrooms. We have the four edible berries, narco and stims, and then, you know, cooked meat, fish meat, you know, like that type of stuff. So yeah, you can kind of like see. This one here is supposed to be uh, mutton, but apparently that's not on the dedicated storage. What we could do for all the missing items is just add that into the back end. It's a possibility that you can do an S+. plus. It's really nice. I just need to actually get around to doing all that. I didn't even realize that some of these items weren't in there. But uh, yeah, I can add them in. So um, I think this one here is supposed to be Wyvern Milk and then Nameless Venom. Now, obviously, those two items aren't really things I'm going to have over here that much. I mean, I might end up having some Wyvern Milk, but probably not Nameless Venom. But you know what? I don't care. We're going to have it anyway. It makes kind of sense. So, yeah, you can see we've also got Primal Crystal and Amber Crystal. Also, two items I probably wouldn't really have here very much. Um, and then right here we have uh, all four arrows. Obviously not the flame. I need to add that one in. Uh, right here, what is missing? What is missing? I think it's the harpoon uh, thingy, you know, the ballista bolt. And then we're missing the darts here. And then I actually have a spare spot that I need to figure out something in. And then I can't remember what some of these were. But they definitely all have uses, and I have it all down in a spreadsheet. I think, oh my god, we had a little bit of saving lag right there. Um, I think now we're going to probably have, like, the end ones here free. They're not going to have anything in them, but that's okay, because there's probably going to be more items added with Genesis Part 2, which means that we're going to need a couple of these, at least uh, spare or whatever, to, um, to add more items in. Now... Obviously, all those items there do not make up all of the items in Ark. Don't worry. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side here. I just need to make a ton of these things, and I'm actually completely out of metal right now. I still have element. I still have everything else. I just don't have any metal. Well, I technically do because I just AFK'd for a little bit over at Eggfall, which, by the way, I need to show you. I upgraded it. There's more stuff there. Uh, there was originally three layers of power swords. Now there's five, and it's a little bit better. I'll show you guys after, but... Uh, yeah, so we need to just fill up this whole wall right here, and it's a lot. I think 59 dedicated storage is, is what I need to make to fill up all of this side. So, yeah, once I do that, I'm going to start labeling them and then pulling all my items down here, and it's going to be so, so cool. Now, another thing you probably saw um, is this right here. We've got, like, a little downstairs area. So, as you can probably see, we've got some random stuff just scattered around here, like the generator and... Um, 
and basically the the replicator i think those are really the only two things we're not actually going to be keeping up here um i will have the the what do you call it the transmitter in the very center i'm going to probably move the teleporter over to either this side or the opposite side and then i'm going to put the dedicated storage intake on whatever opposite side from the uh little teleporter yeah anyway so we're probably maybe going to put teleporter over there and dedicated storage over there like lined up in the center um and then we've got these two doors leading down below this is not finished again i'm out of metal but as you can see we kind of had like this whole little area down here that i probably could have just left empty but what the hell's the point i mean i might as well add some stuff in here so down here we're gonna have the workshop we're gonna have a replicator and probably all the other like techie kind of items from s plus because there's a lot of like stuff that you don't have in vanilla that you have in s plus when you get to the end game so uh pretty much all of this stuff right here is very useful but i need to be level 135 to actually unlock that stuff so we need to ascend on two maps i i guess i either have i either have uh the island um rag or not rag what am i saying i'm, I'm thinking of rockwell i don't know why the island ab or um genesis so i'll probably end up doing the island and then maybe ab and then genesis later on but yeah so if we ascend on two of those we can get up to the stage where we can craft some of this stuff here um so that's gonna be awesome all of this stuff kind of makes up there's like a forge i think that's the forge there's like a laboratory which is like an upgraded chemistry bench and i think that's it right there i think this here is the fridge or no that's the fridge i don't know i don't know what that is <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I probably know what they are, but I just can't remember exactly what they are. This is like a repairing station. So, like, this is all super high-tech tech stuff. And there's a couple of issues. This thing right here, the, the forge, costs ridiculously stupid materials to make. It costs, like, I think it's like a King Titan, an Alpha King Titan head, stuff like that. So, we're not gonna... We're probably maybe gonna see about editing that. I don't know if that's possible, but... That's not even the forge. This is the forge. What am I doing? But yeah, anyway, you got my drift. We might try and edit that stuff. I don't know if we actually will or not. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but I might see about doing it because I think it's a little bit silly how expensive that thing actually is. And it's just an upgraded forge. Like, why is anybody going to bother wanting to craft that? You know, it's just pointless the way it is. Um, I don't like the, the fact that it costs so much to craft. Uh, some other stuff we're going to have around. Of course, we're going to have some of the... Uh, tech control unit thingies so that's a pretty cool item i showed that off before you can kind of just like walk up and hit a button and you can have it do whatever you want so i could have it pull all the items off of me and put it somewhere or i could have it give me element whenever i hit it or you know give me food or just other stuff like that so we might have a couple of those like scattered around here or something um but i'm kind of thinking like this whole area up here i i'm thinking of maybe just having this as like a nice area where there's you know just a bunch of displays and like not too much clutter not too much like functional stuff like you know that's why i don't want my crafting stuff up here and obviously that's smaller because i made that smaller using s plus settings check that out on the s plus mod page if you want to figure it out Whew, words oh my god i need a drink anyway so i need to finish this and we probably have the majority of that metal already completely uh smelted up let me take a little look though uh, we're pretty close on getting it all done. I just obviously need this metal, so... Yeah, we got 4,000 metal. I know I actually brought over, I think, like, 20,000 metal to uh, Genesis somewhat recently, so I, I think we probably have a bunch of that still over there. I might head over there and just bring that back because I need to finish this project. It needs to get done here today. But, uh, yeah, and I've also, like, stripped this apart a little bit more. We're gonna try and move some of the items down, and obviously I need to kind of figure out the whole workshop, so I need to finish that whole floor. Give me these before I forget them, and also that, because why not? Okay, so the base is probably, like, 95% done, and we've also removed 99% of the old base, as you can see. We just got these two floating vaults. I don't know why, but, like, when I removed the ceilings below, I thought that they would fall, but they just didn't i don't know why because i'm pretty sure vaults actually do that i'm actually 100 percent sure apparently the s plus ones just don't obey physics that's cool anyway let me just quickly go over the inside because there's a good amount of changes so we got the transmitter here we got some uh dinosaur stuff here we'll probably get some more of that around we got our uh little intake thingy teleporter there let's go downstairs 
And as you can see, I've laid out the workshop pretty nice, actually. I've got the forge this side, the replicator that side. I still needed this little S-plus crafting station somewhere, so for now, it's right beside the replicator. Um, over here, we've got some of the uh, S-plus tech storage, which has a crap ton of slots, and it's also refrigerated. And you can go ahead and just read all those names right there. And you're probably wondering what the difference between gear and other of these these other boxes are uh the gear is actually just stuff that i usually would be using you can actually kind of almost see do you guys see that like rectangle on the front of this i can kind of just see that right now I, I never noticed that before i wonder how many people will actually be able to see that anyway so right here we just have a temporary box full of chibis uh you know the chibi collection that i have my unique chibis i have overflow of like two or three hundred up there which is ridiculous we've got our blueprints all here so let me just go over these we've got saddles armor weapons tools tech and then this is the dump so this is basically where i put uh blueprints that aren't my best of that type and i to be honest i don't know why i'm keeping them i should probably just chuck them away or something because you know i've got all my best ones and all of these other ones here so it's kind of nice and organized and i like it that way anyway uh, temporary fridge right here full of a bunch of random crap and we have chemistry bench right there we have uh, grinder also downscaled from s plus uh, finally by the way you can see I put a bed into my base I know it's been like so long we've had a bed not in our castle the whole time I don't know what I was thinking I don't know why I never bothered to put an actual bed into the base um, but yeah we have one here which is awesome hopefully we can replace that with the tech one very soon um, and then, yeah, you can see I've just placed a bunch of other stuff here. So, yeah, not a whole lot else going on down here. Uh, we do have that cool beam from the transmitter, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, um, obviously there's a couple more things that we'll need to go in here, but we'll get to that eventually. Um, oh, and I actually went ahead and added some sloped ceilings right here because it was kind of looking a little bit odd. So I actually like that beside the ramps. It looks really nice. Um, alrighty, so let's get back upstairs. Is there anything else up here that I changed? Oh, yeah. Check it out. We got all of our dedicated storage now, and pretty much all of these are filled. Well, not, you know, filled as in there's items in them, but, you know, they've all got, like, a purpose. They've all got, like, a label on them. And I have an absolute metric crap ton of wood. Yeah, I'm kind of rolling in the wood and also stone, uh, markets. Anyway... As you can see, we have just like a lot of different materials here. We're kind of running low on some things, though. Uh, I know polymer, wherever the hell polymer is. Uh, organic polymer. Oh, wait, no. We have more now because I was grinding up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I just remembered. I knew that we, we got down to like two or 300, though, at one point, which was a little bit worrying. But now we have a bunch. Look how much chitin I have. Tons. Absolute tons. Um, and then, yeah, as you can see, we just got a couple spares down here. We can eventually put some stuff into there. I don't really have any priorities right now for those. Um, we could probably just keep that for Genesis Part 2. Because, like, I don't know. They're probably going to add some stuff. I would imagine that they probably will, at least. Uh, still need to go ahead and add a couple of those other items onto the list. But I made a couple mistakes along here. And I got the other bullets here. Flamethrower ammo is going to go there. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I can get all this stuff sorted by the next episode. Oh my god, I can tell you right now, this build has taken absolutely ages to do. It really has. Have I run out of element? Um, am I out? Yeah, I'm out. I need to grab some more. Uh, let's just grab a piece out of the, the generator. No, I moved the generator down below. Let's go grab it out of the generator from down here. There it is. Awesome. So, uh, one more thing that I wanted to do, because I've edited the rest of this video up to this point... So I just realized that I almost forgot to show off Eggfall, but before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the outside of this base. You may be wondering, how am I going to get up there? Well, I'm thinking maybe tech bridges. We can kind of like put one here and then just put it down onto the ground, but I'd like all four of them to be somewhat kind of symmetrical and not kind of going out at like random distances and stuff. So I need to figure that stuff out, but not a super... Uh, you know major priority right now maybe we can put some bounce pads on the ground to get up for the moment but um yeah what do you guys think about the base honest thoughts and opinions you can drop those down below obviously you know there's probably some things that you guys don't exactly like but i'm really happy with the way that it turned out it would be great if we can get rid of those little ridges but it's just not a possibility right now although to be honest i think like a half slope wall or half slope roof would be very very nice but I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing. Uh, you know, just to... just Oh, God. 
yeah we're having like weird server uh saving kind of things right now i think g portals like back end is getting like ddos or something like that it's kind of annoying but uh you know what they always get it fixed pretty soon anyway yeah so pretty much like just the whole section beyond like this little bit right here um or besides that bit i can't even speak or talk right now it's, i've been going at this for so long uh oh, all right so here's what we need to do i want to head over to eggfall to show you guys that so let's do a little teleport and check it out look at that oh my god that is 60 eggs raining all the way down here to our little baby blender oh man so yeah i was doing some afking over here while i was editing and uh we've got a bunch of the important resources which is basically just these two right here uh we obviously you know we have some other stuff here too i guess not very important though i mean to be honest like we have more electronic um than we're ever gonna need ever and i'm pretty sure we have more oil than we're probably ever gonna need so yeah we're good on those fronts don't really care too much but these two right here are the important ones i do hope to actually get some gotchas soon i want to go for that we have tech structures so we should probably try to actually go for 100 percent tame because i'm pretty sure that's what you have to feed them right something like that uh but yeah so we'll do that at some point soon and uh here is Eggfall. uh we had three layers before and now it is upgraded to oh my god i knew that there was more power stores up here look at that more freaking power stores hanging out up here sometimes it kind of overflows and sometimes the eggs get like stuck and just don't drop down it's kind of not a super common thing but yeah look at that look that one's not dropping down either i gotta maybe move that one back a little bit more it's really tricksy to get this going but uh yeah let me go ahead and just pick those up oh my god there was three of them are you kidding it only it only looked like there was two all right apparently i need to move you back so i'll fix that one after um and then this one here seems to be falling a little bit and that is kind of odd looking but uh all in all um i had to add another male by the way um i was hoping to try and get all of the females all 60 females onto the one male it wasn't ever gonna happen i mean the he his he doesn't have enough enough reach i guess there's no other way of putting it he can't reach that far so yeah if i could have though or if he could have um i know i can <laughs> If he could have, we'll, we probably would have like put him onto this layer right here so he could reach all of them, but it's just not possible. He can only reach one layer above and one layer below, unless I just shorten the layers, in which case I think it would look not as good as it does right now because goddamn, this place is beautiful. I need to get more torches on it though because only the bottom few layers have torches, but uh, yeah, it's upgraded and we've got some other stuff inside here as well. I went ahead and you know what? Maybe we should upgrade that with the tech gate. Hmm, we might do that but uh yeah i've just went ahead and just kind of changed the bottom chamber here moved the air conditioners up so we have more of a viewing window here because they were on the bottom here before and it wasn't that useful because they kind of just blocked the way but uh we've also got a tech door here as well actually a door and a half which is kind of nice so yeah that is gonna be it for today guys uh if you have enjoyed this video i would really appreciate a like <laughs> It's taken a long ass time to put this base together. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it was a crap ton of effort if you couldn't already tell. Um, I really, sometimes I feel like I push my, my building skills to the max. And I definitely think that today we, we definitely did that. So uh, yeah, it's just been a crazy, a crazy ass day. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, you can subscribe and uh, We'll be catching you in the next one and also yes it does look it it does look like a ufo please like like can we come can we come up with like a better name than syntax ufo because <laughs> like i sent a picture of this to jim and he's just like oh you made a ufo it's like a damn it jim and then, now i know you guys are just gonna say that all the time great why did i even mention it although people would probably say it's a ufo all right end of the video goodbye catch you in the next one